I am Bradley Davis with Woodbridge Pacific Group, and we are here at the Plan 1 at Mahogany at Belcourt Seven Oaks. This is a four bedroom, four bath house, and normally it's a little over 2,600 square feet. However, on this specific home, we have a second story pop-up that's an optional uh, structural package that's selected, bringing it to a little over 3,200 square feet. As we can see on the outside here, we have this beautiful brick with this white trim accent. This is American traditional elevation style, uh, quite beautiful here in Bakersfield. Let's go ahead through these double entry doors and check out this beautiful house. Right as you enter this space, you are wowed by the amount of volume that we have here in this entry. It is really, uh, creates a grand entry. And as we land here in the house, we have a few directions we can go. I wanna take us first here to this front office. Um, it's quite large. It's tucked up in the front of the house purposefully to create some privacy and seclusion. So you can, if you work from home, it's a great space to get whatever you need to done in peace. We've got a window here so you can keep your eye on the front of the house. Um, you see any packages that might come in or anything like that. Great, great space, very, very large. Um, and then as we come back out here to the entry, we have a uh, closet and a powder bathroom down this hallway, perfect for our guests. And then we're gonna go over here to the other side of the entry and check out this dining room. It's quite large, uh, as we can see here, more than enough room to seat uh, quite a large table, get your whole family in here for Thanksgiving dinner. We've got a niche here so we can put a buffet or a hutch. Um, so yeah, amazing space, but let's go check out this great room. This is gonna be a really, really amazing uh, space, so let's check it out. As we enter this great room, we are really wowed by the open concept. It is an amazing space and everything feels really connected. We have the living room area here, the kitchen, dining, covered outdoor living. It's all really connected. This is an amazing space for entertaining. Here in the living area, uh, well, I wanna note that we have a optional fireplace here. Uh, this is actually has brick on it that matches the exterior elevation of this specific house, which is the, again, traditional American elevation. Um, really nice uh, way to blend the outside and the inside architecture. Um, before we go uh, into the kitchen, I wanna first point out this walkway here. This little doorway connects us to the kitchen and to the dining room. So easy access to serve our guests in, in that area and then this door leads us to the upstairs, to the second story. I wanna to get to that a little bit later, but for now, let's continue on to the kitchen. Oh, right here we have an amazing, amazing room for prepping, serving, um, entertaining, seating. I mean, look at the size of this island. It is massive. We can see plenty of people here. We've got a sink built into the island, so we can still be connected with our guests. Um, we have a subway tile backsplash on this specific house. Again, really uh, tying together the interior and exterior elevation with that traditional American style. Um, I wanna note that we have the laundry room right down here, which connects us to the garage. Uh, really great access to the garage here. Have your Costco uh, order in your trunk. Easy to get it quickly in into here. And then, Lastly, in this kitchen, I wanna point out that we have a standard KitchenAid appliance package going on. As we continue around, we get into the dining area, but look at all the storage that we have. There can't have enough storage in, in a kitchen, so that's extremely helpful to have here. We've got a dining area, easily connected to the kitchen. And then we have this covered outdoor living space with a stackable sliding glass doors. It really makes it feel like it's just an extension of the living room. Let's go out here, check out this space, as well as the backyard. As you can see here, when the sliding glass doors are stacked all the way down here, it really creates a seamless transition 
from the indoors to the outdoors. It's an amazing experience. And in this covered area, we're really protected from the elements as well. It's a little over 300 square feet here, so we have plenty of space, more than enough room for grilling, sitting, dining. Uh, we have another optional fireplace here outside, so this is an awesome space to have a cozy fire going. And then it connects perfectly to this rear yard. Here at Mahogany, we have home sites that are a minimum of 10,000 square feet, so there's really a large blank canvas for you to work with. So really it's a, a lovely space and the world is yours to really make it your own. Let's transition back to the inside of the house and take a look at uh, the bedrooms next. As we enter back into the house, we're gonna head in this direction toward the primary suite. But first I want to note this vestibule. We have a bunch of storage, which is great for you know, linens, However, it's really important because it creates some privacy and separation from the great room here. Now, as we enter the room, you'll notice that it's very spacious. We have a large king-size bed um, with huge dressers on both sides, plenty of light coming in from over here. Um, the French doors, which are an option, bring in uh, some accessibility to the rear yard, and then we have a beautiful feature wall as well. Now let's head toward the primary bathroom. You'll notice on this side we have a water closet, very private, closed off. And then as we enter this space, it is huge, but also feels cozy, almost like a sanctuary, very spa-like. We have a beautiful tub, an incredible shower, dual vanities, gorgeous backsplash, and then importantly, an enormous closet, plenty of space to uh, hold everything you need. Now let's head over to the opposite side of the house and check out the secondary bedrooms. As we head to the secondary bedrooms, I do want to reinforce that they are on the opposite side of the house as the primary. So there's a good amount of separation between the two uh, bedroom areas. This bedroom specifically is modeled, very fun, uh, sports themed, and it is connected here to a Jack and Jill bathroom. This Jack and Jill bathroom is great because on this side we have two sinks, perfect, one for each bedroom. And then importantly here, we have a door that separates these vanities from the toilet, shower, and tub. So multiple people can be getting ready at the same time in here. As we head into this third bedroom, we'll notice that it is being uh, furnished as a twin newborn baby room, which we love and is extremely cute. Now let's go upstairs and check out the second story of this house. This second story uh, is offered only on the plan one here at Mahogany, and it is in fact an option. This is a bonus room plus a bedroom and another bathroom. And you'll notice here that it is extremely spacious. It almost feels like an entire new living area on this second story. Over here we have a wet bar which features a sink as well as an under counter refrigerator. That's great for entertaining in this bonus game room space. Um, an important thing to note on this second story are these large windows. Not only are they meant to obviously bring in a ton of natural light, but they are positioned so they are only on the front of the house. This is really important because it only allows the second story to look down on the street out in front of the house. You cannot look down into your neighbor's yards. A any privacy concerns from the second story are, are really mitigated from that. Next, we're gonna head into this bedroom here, and you'll notice that it is connected to this bathroom, but the bathroom is also connected directly to the bonus room, so it's accessible from both areas. And as we walk into the bedroom, you'll notice that it is quite spacious. We have a generous closet on this side, and there is a ton of natural light coming in from these large windows. That's it for the second story. Let's go ahead and head back downstairs.
That was the Plan 1 at Mahogany. Thanks for touring with me. I am Bradley Davis with Woodbridge Pacific Group. Cheers.